Here is everything you need to know about Samsung's brand new Galaxy S24 series in less than 10 minutes. And if you stick around to the end, I'll show you guys how to get an exclusive $50 bonus discount on top of all the pre-order deals. Artificial intelligence comes front and center for the Galaxy S24 series in the form of Samsung's brand new Galaxy AI. And this is for far more than just getting information faster. For starters, Galaxy AI allows you to have real-time phone calls with people who don't speak your language, so you can do things like call to make a restaurant reservation when you're traveling abroad. Or you can even talk with a relative who may not be fluent in your primary language. Galaxy AI can also translate text messages in real time, regardless of which application you're using, because it's built into the Samsung keyboard. And you'll even get recommendations for changing the tone of your message to be more professional, casual, playful, or a bunch of other tones. But the best part? None of the live call or text translation features require anything from the person you're talking to. Everything is handled right on the S24. Samsung's new AI takes photo editing to a whole new level with generative fill and object transforms. This means you can zoom out of an image slightly and move an object in that photo to another position. Then Galaxy AI will fill in the missing details. And this is all done right from within the gallery app on your phone. Having Galaxy AI in the gallery app also allows you to create more accurate cutouts and erase shadows and reflections better than before. But the shadow and reflection erasing was already pretty solid on the S23 Ultra, so I'm curious to see how much of a difference this really makes on the S24 Ultra. For video, Galaxy AI lets you turn a regular 30fps video into a slow motion video after you filmed the video. This is done using interpolation, which is kind of like generative fill, but for video. And stay tuned because I'll be testing this specifically in my S24 Ultra unboxing video, which goes live tomorrow morning. And I will be comparing that to the S23 Ultra as well. So consider subscribing and turning on notifications if you don't wanna miss that. In terms of general Galaxy AI features, you'll now be able to long press the home button, then circle any part of your screen and your S24 will analyze what's in the circle and use Google to give you more information about it. This works for things like finding out where to purchase a product, getting more information about landmarks, and more, which I'll be testing in that unboxing video. Note-taking gets an incredible update with Galaxy AI thanks to real-time transcription, which you can use for work meetings or for a college lecture. But the real magic happens once you're done transcribing. Galaxy AI can summarize the entire transcription. And this also works for notes that you wrote manually or any document that you open in Samsung Notes. Yeah, this is pretty powerful. Something important to know about all of these AI features is that some are processed directly on the S24, while others are processed on the cloud. So you'll need an internet connection to use some of the features. However, if you prefer to not have any processing done on the cloud, you can disable that and only process AI features locally. But this will limit which AI features are available. I'll take a closer look at this in my full review to see exactly what can and can't be used, but I thought it was worth mentioning in this video. For camera improvements, the S24 Ultra swaps out the 10 megapixel 10 times zoom camera with a 50 megapixel 5 times zoom camera that has larger pixels, allowing for 60% more light to be captured. So that should provide significantly better low light photos when you're at a higher zoom. This new sensor also gets a wider optical image stabilization range, allowing it to better correct for handshake when taking photos and videos. And if you were paying attention, you'd notice that I just said it's now a 5 times zoom instead of the 10 times zoom that was on the S23 Ultra. But since it also has five times the pixels, you'll still get a higher resolution picture when you zoom into 10 times compared to the S23 Ultra. And of course, I'll be testing this specifically in that S24 Ultra unboxing video. The 100 times zoom feature on the S24 Ultra also gets improvements thanks to enhanced noise reduction algorithms, as well as a newly added feature which analyzes the phone's gyro movements so it can differentiate between your hand movements and the movements of the subject. Bottom line, this just means that you should see an improvement in the 100x zoom photos. The other three main cameras and the front camera on the S24 Ultra don't get any physical upgrades, but I'll be testing them against the S23 Ultra's cameras to see how much of a difference the image processing and AI improvements make. The S24 and S24 Plus don't appear to be getting any new camera hardware, but they will have access to the new image processing features as well as the Galaxy AI enhancements. So you should still see at least some improvement compared to the Galaxy S23. Now let's talk about some of the significant design changes, specifically for the S24 Ultra. Something all of you S Pen users are really going to appreciate is that we now have a fully flat display again. Not only does this mean you can use the S Pen to the very edge of the screen now, but it also means that any phone cases can now come up over the edge of the phone to better protect it from face down drops. 
and Samsung was able to reduce the bezels by 42% compared to the S23 Ultra. And speaking of those bezels, they're now exactly the same width all the way around the device instead of having a larger bottom bezel like on previous devices. Samsung also reduced the bezel sizes on the S24 and S24 Plus, allowing for a slightly larger screen in the same form factor as the S23 series. More specifically, it's a 0.1 inch screen size increase for both the S24 and S24 Plus. And in case you're wondering, the S24 Ultra keeps the same 6.8 inch screen size as last year. And speaking of the screens, the entire S24 series gets a max brightness boost of up to 2600 nits compared to the 1750 nits that was on the previous generation. Samsung says that translates to a 40% real world brightness increase in direct sunlight, but I'll have to test that out to see how much of a difference it really makes. Surrounding the brighter screen on the S24 Ultra is a brand new titanium frame. This adds strength without adding weight to the phone. Samsung says the frame has a textured grip to make it easier to hold, but I'll let you know how this actually feels in my S24 Ultra unboxing video. Protecting the S24 Ultra's screen is Corning's new Gorilla Armor, which promises to not only be stronger, but also be less reflective. The S24 and S24 Plus do not get the titanium frame or the new Gorilla Armor glass. In terms of performance, the entire S24 series gets a significant boost thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, as well as improved cooling, allowing the phones to be pushed harder for longer. And if you're a gamer, you'll appreciate the boost in ray tracing performance for more realistic looking water, lighting, and reflections. While the S23 and S23 Plus did have a 120Hz refresh rate for buttery smooth scrolling on the phone, they didn't go all the way down to 1Hz like the Ultra variant did. But this year, both the S24 and S24 Plus do get a full refresh range from 1Hz all the way to 120Hz. What this means practically is that the S24 and S24 Plus should see a bit of a boost in battery life thanks to this addition. Speaking of battery life, the S24 gets a 100 milliamp hour increase in its battery size compared to the S23, and the S24 Plus gets a 200 milliamp hour increase. The S24 Ultra remains the same 5000 milliamp hour battery that was in the S23 Ultra. However, thanks to efficiency improvements, we should see better battery life across all three devices. And in case you're wondering, the charge speeds are the same as last year. So we get 45 watts for the S24 Ultra and S24 Plus, and we get 25 watts for the S24. Another S24 Ultra exclusive upgrade is the addition of Wi-Fi 7 for an even faster and lower latency Wi-Fi connection. The S24 and S24 Plus will keep Wi-Fi 6E, just like the S23 series. But keep in mind that you'll also need a Wi-Fi 7 or Wi-Fi 6E capable router to take advantage of those speeds, depending on which S24 you get. In terms of longevity, Samsung's offering a whopping 7 years of Android OS and security updates. That means your S24 will be updated with the latest software features at least until the year 2031. For perspective, that's even longer than Apple updates their iPhones. So if you like to keep your phone for years on end, the S24 is a pretty good buy. And a rumored feature that did not make it to the S24 series is satellite messaging for emergency situations when you don't have a cell signal. And I'm sure some of you are wondering if the SD card slot came back, and the answer is still no. And I highly doubt we're gonna see micro SD cards come back in any future smartphones either. But if you pre-order the S24, you get a free upgrade to the next storage tier. So that means you can get the one terabyte S24 Ultra for the cost of a 512 gigabyte version. So hopefully that helps alleviate some storage concerns. For colors, the S24 Ultra gets four standard colors that can be purchased at any retailer, plus three exclusive colors that are only available on samsung.com. The S24 and S24 Plus get four standard colors, plus three of their own samsung.com exclusive colors as well. In terms of storage and pricing, you get these options here. But those prices can get cut dramatically when you follow my exclusive affiliate links to Samsung's website in the description and pinned comment. Not only will you get massive trade-in discounts, pre-order credits that can be applied to other accessories or products, and huge bundle deals, but you'll also get my exclusive $50 bonus discount on top of that. But keep in mind, these deals are only available through the pre-order period, and the bundles are only available while supplies last. So if you want massive savings, definitely check out the links below. And if you guys are gonna be getting an S24 and you wanna know what the best accessories are for any Samsung smartphone, definitely check out this video here. Or if you want a preview of what the S24 Ultra cameras will be capable of, check out this video here, where I show you guys the S23 Ultra's ridiculously impressive camera features. There's a reason that video has well over a million views. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss tomorrow's S24 Ultra unboxing and first impressions video. 
That's it for this tech episode. God bless, guys, and I'll catch you tomorrow.